As long as each side claims to be the good, the right, and the just. Always painting the other as wrong, bad, and evil. Things will only get worse for us all. But none of it really matters in a reality where this is all some sort of simulation or video game, where the plot is so fixed that any choice we make has no impact, imprint, or evidence on the outcome of the game. That no matter what you do in the game, you end up at the same boss fight at the end, with the same life, the same weapons, the same treasures, and the same everything. It's these types of environments where the lack of realism is felt and where we eventually realize that something is not right with said reality. Some of it seems real, some seems normal, and then you see a giant clown head with a spider tattoo on its forehead in the sky where the sun should be. Eventually, the brain will tell us what is real and what is not real. It is when our realities are flipped upside down and inside out, like a tesseract, that feelings on reality become existential horror. Real terror. There is an idea of freedom for all, some kind of abstraction, but there is no real freedom, only an empty thirsty void, something elusive, rich as fuck, and though we can hide our cold gaze, and we can shake our heads, and feel love, hate, and maybe, we can even sense our values may actually be comparable in some random and insignificant way, we simply, are not there. We are not, listening, we, simply, do not, care. Apply all that to your common sense. How does reality feel right now? Something absolutely does not feel right here. Yeah, we mean nothing. God cares not for you, me, your kids, your freedoms, their suffering, your suffering, and mine. With all that, all we have are those moments of love with those we love the most. Become obsessed with that. Not this bullshit. It doesn't matter who we vote for. We all lose. By the time right now impacts the future, I'll be dead. Some of you before me. Most of you shortly after me. Again, it means nothing in the bigger picture. Why would I care about that in which I cannot alter, control or have input on? My vote makes zero impact. Why waste that by which I cannot ever get back? The energy and time? Once used they cannot be given back. The current landscape of politicians are not qualified to be politicians. As long as we look at Americans as us versus them or them versus us. We are all going to be trapped in this vicious cycle. This is why I no longer give much time and energy in my headspace anymore. I will comment here, there, make fun of both sides, but I am not interested in fighting for either side. It's not about community, politics or right or even wrong. It's a philosophical question. Most if not all politicians cannot do anything that has anything to do with bigger, deeper philosophical questions and concepts of any kind. It's why most of them talk in circles and never actually say anything when they talk. It's just Charlie Brown's parents' lingo. How many times did we hear either one of the candidates actually answer the questions without going on with tangents and on with other subjects, complicated word salads that say nothing by both and or makes claims about the other that have little to no actual meaning or substance? Post after post, after comment, after meme, it is all the same. Most Americans hate both these people. This is why Crazy Ralph is correct. We're all doomed. I'm already dead. My brain and body just don't know it yet. Enjoy the moments, stop thinking about the future, because there isn't one for you or me. Your kids, perhaps, but I chose before I was even old enough to have sex, that I never wanted kids of my own. I was then and am now even more severely against procreation for myself. There is no grand future, only now, in the foreseeable future which is how foreseeable exactly. Just enjoy the time we have left. Work towards things that make you happy. Stop trying to think you control these things in the macro world or even impact them in any meaningful way. Keyword, meaningful. You are not that important. What exactly can I do right now to help and or make a real sharp change in the landscape? Nothing. I, personally, can do absolutely nothing. 
With all my issues by the time I have time to think about such things it's time for bed and do it all over again, so no. I cannot do anything about anything and stopped pretending I actually could after my near-death experience. I am much better off for it. I cannot say happier or good. I tend to say less bad. Because good doesn't really happen with me. I understand I am not that special, beautiful, or unique in any macroscopic way. You are not special. You're not a beautiful and unique snowflake. You're the same decaying organic matter as everything else. We're all part of the same compost heap. We're all singing, all dancing crap of the world. Chuck Palahniuk, Fight Club. With that said, laugh at the memes. If you get triggered by this stuff this much it's time to pull back and think about yourself, because they are going to do them first and do you last, if at all. That is what politics is in the 2020s. Love your country, but hate your leaders, because they do not lead, they dictate. 23 years ago the country stood still, and our hearts sank as the twin towers fell, smoke rose, and lives were forever altered. We remember where we stood, who we held, and the stunned silence that followed. It was a day that cracked the soul of a nation, and from those ashes rose a storm of uncertainty, fear, and division. Yet, in remembering that day, we honor the lost and the brave, a reminder to never let our differences overshadow our shared humanity. Let us never forget, not just the pain, but the unity we once sought. We need that desire for unity again. Doomed by David Angelo Minio September 11, 2024 1069 Words